So now I covered the uh, British <coughs> 37 pattern tank crew holster in a previous video, but I've been asked to do like a, a bit of close-up detail of the open-topped Royal Armoured Corps tank crew holster. Um, two patterns exist in the collector's world, um, but technically it should really only be one pattern because in both instances it's the same holster. Now the first pattern holster was an open top thing um, with a really long belt loop on it which allowed the holster to sit down the leg almost near, near the guy's kneecap. On the back of the holster was a little tunnel in which a web strap passed through with a buckle on so that it could be buckled around the thigh to secure it, a bit like a, a cowboy holster. Um, this pattern was introduced to give tank crews much more better access to the gun in the confines of an armoured fighting vehicle. Now, later on, it was found that the long strap holster was a bit cumbersome. So, they said that all holsters with the long strap were to be returned back to stores, and when they were returned back, before they were reissued out again, the long strap was cut and converted into a shorter strap so that it could be worn more like a waist holster rather than halfway down the leg so it didn't obstruct anything. So in both instances, whether you have the long strap holster or the short strap one, in both instances, the actual holster itself, the bit the gun goes in, is the same item. So that on the short pattern um, holster, the back of that still retains the little tunnel for the thigh strap because it's the same holster, they, they just reuse the same holster. But on the short pattern one, that belt tunnel is obsolete because they didn't need the strap on it. Um, I don't have the first pattern one, but I do have the second pattern one. For some reason, all of these open topped tank crew holsters appear to be made in Canada. Don't know why, but they all appear to be Canadian made. Um, so I've got the, the second pattern here. Now, as I say, in both instances, this is the same. There's no difference between that on a first pattern and on a second pattern. The layout is exactly the same. It's just that on the first pattern, this bit here, the belt tunnel, and it doesn't have the little hooks on that you associate with the 37 pattern belt. It actually has a tunnel. So the 37 pattern belt passes through the tunnel. It doesn't have the usual fixings on it. But on the second pattern, the tunnel is much shorter. Now, if this was a first pattern belt, that belt tunnel there would be about that long and on the back of it you have another little tunnel there and that on the first pattern would have a strap passing through it with a buckle on it so you could buckle around the thigh now because <coughs> they simply reused the first pattern holsters in the second pattern setup on all holsters it still retains the belt loop on it now, what, it, what all this simply did was, when the long pattern holsters were returned back to stores, they simply cut it, folded it over, and re it. So that instead of having a long, a long belt loop, they now have a short belt loop. So 99% of all second patterns are actually first patterns that have been returned to stores. So technically, although in the collector's field you can find short and long patterns, Technically, there is only one particular pattern. It's just that it's the same one that's being converted. Um, they are expensive to buy. Most of them you get will have one of two markings on, or they'll have two markings on. In this case, it's got Made in Canada, stamped in red, and it's got the Canadian acceptance stamp, which is a capital letter C with an, a broad arrow in the middle of it. As I say, for some reason, they are all manufactured in Canada. On the front, you've got little loops to take one two three four five six thirty eight rounds and it has the appearance and shape of a 37 pattern 38 pistol holster it's got a little tunnel on the outside there for taking a 38 clearing rod <coughs> and <coughs> instead of having an open well instead of having a closed flap that comes over like a regular 37 pattern pistol holster it has just a little retaining strap that buckles over the gun, holds the gun in, stops it falling out. This way it makes it more accessible. 
for tank and armoured fighting vehicle crews. But no doubt, a lot of people when these first came out thought they were commando items, um, which they're not. But I suppose commandos could have been issued with them, but technically it's the armoured fighting vehicle crew 38 pistol holster. And as I say, for some reason, all made in Canada. So it's the same holster, whether you've got the long one or the short one, it's just that it's been reconverted back in the factory. So we'll take a look at an example. Um, the gun I've covered in a previous video ages ago. So this video is a kind of a, a YouTuber's request to see this in more of a close-up. So we'll take a look at it. And I suppose there were the blank code as well. There's no evidence of these being in RAF blue webbing because it's not an RAF issue item. But I suppose that's some word of shit RAF crews but it was probably that colour. But I've never seen one of these issued in RAF blue webbing. Sometimes you get them blank code but uh, this one is in the natural factory tan colour. As you can see, it's, it's got the appearance of a regular 37 pattern holster. But it's got the tunnel on there for the for the, the, the copper looped clearing rod. It's got an additional sewn on patch there with sewn on loops to take 38 rounds. Then you've got this strap comes over, pop a strap, pop it under there. As you can see, the open topped, the gun sits in there nicely. <coughs> on the bottom you've got the drain hole. But the big difference between the two is the strap. You see the strap, and this is what I mean by um, first patterns are merely, uh, second patterns are merely converted first patterns, in that this hole fixing here is one separate piece of webbing so on the original pattern the long pattern this piece of webbing would be really really long and where you have it bent over here and so on it will be bent over here and so on and then when they went back to the factory they cut them down and they just re sewn them so this this piece that makes up the belt loop is one piece even though it's been sewn in different places all of this is one piece of webbing. So you can see how the long pattern one can be easily cut, re-sewn and converted into the second short pattern one. And in the first pattern one, because it comes way, way down, this is almost at the guy's kneecap on the first pattern one. So they needed this tunnel in which a separate webbing strap would pass through with a buckle on it and it would buckle around the guy's thigh. When they were sent back to stores, to be redone when they cut them down this tunnel now becomes obsolete and not needed anymore so that's what that is that that's not that's not a little um, belt mount that's for a strap to pass through on the original long pattern one as you can see you got made in Canada stamped in red then the Canadian get the right way around the Canadian capital letter C with a broad arrow stamp in the middle of it. As I say, for some reason, <coughs> all of these tank crew holsters appear to be made in Canada. Then there's something being, <coughs> there's something being on the back of there, probably a throwback to when it was the original long pattern one. That's just something that I put on it to hang it on a nail. So that's a close-up by YouTuber's request of the 37 pattern British tank crew holster. They are getting difficult to find. But in both cases, one is merely the other, only the strap has been cut down. Because a lot of people think that they are two different items, which they're actually not. 
So one went back to the factory and they were converted into this pattern. So it's the same item. So technically there aren't two different ones. It's the same one that's just been converted. But on the collector's field, you can find the long one and you can find the short one. And the short ones are more common than the long ones. So that's the World War II British 37 pattern tank crew holster.